ago, when I was seven, I spent a lot of the time in the hospital when I was first diagnosed. It was a really scary time for me. When I was seven, I was admitted to the hospital for one week, and when I got out, I had a feeding tube for 12 weeks. With Crohn's at the age of 62, and as a blind person, it has been quite an adventure with my ostomy bag. Lors de ma première semaine de mes 30 ans, j'ai été hospitalisée pendant 5 jours parce que je vivais ma première crise de colite ulcéreuse. The moment when IBD really had an impact on my life was when I was first diagnosed. The day that I was diagnosed, I was actually um, admitted to the hospital where I would stay for 6 months and have about 13 surgeries and end up with a temporary ileostomy bag. When I was 14 years old and a freshman in high school, I was forced to be tube fed for 3 months as my body could no longer handle solid foods without getting sick. I would write an exam in the morning, come home and basically lie down in the fetal position for the rest of the day in agonizing pain. When I was 19 years old, I suffered a devastating Crohn's flare, which resulted in months of hospitalization. I was 21 years old when IBD and ulcerative colitis really affected my life. I made three trips to the ER during the month of December, and the last one ended me in the hospital from December 22nd until December 31st when I was released. At age 11, I had to take five weeks off of the end of fifth grade in order to get my Crohn's disease diagnosis and start my treatment. At 23 years old, I had abdominal surgery that left me with an ileostomy. À l'âge de 12 ans, j'ai débuté mon secondaire et un mois plus tard, j'ai reçu le diagnostic de la maladie du Crohn. Age and gender has played a role in diagnosis, especially in the younger patients. Symptoms may not be taken seriously by healthcare providers and sometimes by family members. Cases of IBD can occur at any age. I have seen patients struggling with debilitating symptoms in their late teens as well as during uh, seen in the older patients. Given IBD is a chronic illness and has longer longevity, it is estimated that the proportion of patients that are older will increase over time. eight years when I'm 30 years old, I hope to see people get diagnosed with IBD much quicker than they are right now. For the future of IBD, I hope we have clear answers to what factors cause IBD and what can be done to prevent it. When I am 40 years old, I hope that the stigma of living with an ostomy of any kind is eliminated. I really hope that in the future, ostomy bags will be accepted and normalized and that every single stigma about them will be gone. I also really hope that the technologies regarding ostomy bags and the appliances that they sell will be further advanced. At age 40, I hope that we have found new medications and new treatments to help people live a better life with IBD. Five years when I'm 30, I'm hoping that there's a magic treatment so that injection and infusion-based medication is no longer needed to treat Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. I really would like to see improved education for all, from medical teams to patients and families. Dans 10 ans, donc lorsque j'aurai 40 ans, je souhaite vraiment qu'on ait trouvé les causes principales de la maladie de Crohn ou de la colite ulcéreuse. My hope is that in 10 years' time, when I'm 31 years old, we've found some sort of cure for this. Dans 10 ans, j'espère vraiment qu'on va pouvoir dire qu'on a gagné contre les maladies chroniques de l'intestin qu'on va avoir trouvé une cure et qu'on va pouvoir enfin célébrer toute la force qu'on a eue de se battre aussi longtemps. Je pense que les scientifiques très peuvent trouver une cure pour cette maladie. Dans 20 ans, quand je suis 65, je sais que nous avons trouvé une cure pour Crohn's et Colitis. J'espère qu'il y ait une cure pour l'IVD dans le futur. Ma espérance pour le futur et le monde de l'IVD est que nous puissions trouver une cure pour la maladie inflammatoire de la maladie. 10 ans, quand je suis 34, j'espère qu'il y ait plus de stigma autour de la maladie et que tout le monde puisse avoir l'aide et le soutien qu'ils ont besoin sans se sentir de honte ou d'embarrassement.